Good morning, everybody. Old Pip feels younger and maybe even handsomer because I am next to the dapper Nick Barnett. Since 2003, a starting linebacker for the Green Bay Packers, injured the wrist this season, only played four games. I'd feel so much better if 56 was out there making tackles in the Georgia Dome on Saturday. That said, Nick, how difficult is it when you play with such passion to sit back and watch your teammates do what you know you should be doing? Well, it's, it's definitely difficult to sit back, you know, and, and watch them go out there and do what you love to do, you know. And, and But I tell you what, those guys, been, they've been making me real proud this year and making me happy to watch them. You know, Desmond's been out there, you know, stepping it up, playing well. AJ's been playing, playing tremendous. And, and all those young players on defense have been playing well. And, and it, that goes to, you know, say a lot about what Ted Thompson has done this year and, and the years that since he's been here. He's, he's developed these young players into to great players and, you know, and, and it shows now. How difficult, and we'll get to that in a moment, but how difficult is it for you just to, I mean, this is a change in your life. You've been playing football since you were yay high and doing it very, very well, and now you've got to sit back and rehab. And I know that's a pain physically and mentally. How have you been able to deal with it so gracefully? Well, you know, we all say, you know, it's faith in God. You know, I know it, it's whatever's going to happen is going to happen. You know, I, I hate to sit back and watch people play and, and I want to go out there and be able to help my team and 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 do the things I love to do. You know, I love to be out there. I love I love practice. I love riding the bikes down in training camp. I love everything about it. I love waking up in the morning, going, getting breakfast and everything that has to do with that stadium 1265 and my job. I love it. So it, it's difficult not being able to do it. But at the same time, I know I'll be able to do it soon. And I know when I come back, I'm going to do it better than I've ever done it before. So I'm excited about that, and I can't wait. The man has a legion of followers on his Twitter, and I know you were very happy when Desmond got his contract. So now, next season, you talk about a pleasant problem to have. You've got Desmond Bishop. You've got A.J. Hawk, who comes in at $10 million. They may have to restructure that. And you, you have just a host of linebackers who are ready to play. Brad Jones can come back. And there's Nick Barnett, approaching age 30, young by all standards, and yet kind of the, the middle portion, if you will, of, of, the, of the career. Do you get concerned at all that it may be a little bit difficult to get back in and reclaim your spot, especially because injuries, unfortunately, two out of the last three years have sidelined you for an extended period of time? Well, you know, I, I definitely, I don't worry about those type of things. I know, I know my talent. I know what type of player I am. I know that, you know, I feel that I could be valuable to this team and, and Desmond has done a w great job stepping up. AJ has played well. Um, you know, Chiller, you know, has played well. Another one. And he's injured as well. But, you know, those, those things happen. You know, um, it's great to keep that many good linebackers. You know, hopefully we can keep AJ and, and everybody on the team together. You know, I, there's talk about them. Who, who's, who knows they don't pay them $10 million? You know, they might well. You know, mm -hmm. I think, you know, as if I was the general manager, I would like to, love to keep those linebackers. Mm -hmm. I mean, what if something happens next year when somebody else gets injured, you know, and then you don't have a guy to step up and play well like we do this year. So I think that's the, the key of winning games and going the distance is having great depth at those key positions. And they're doing a great job at it. You know, me worried about, you know, me coming back, you know, that, that happens, you know. I, I'll go in and I'll compete and I'll knock somebody's head off and I'll try to get my job back if it's if it's away from me. But right now I'm we'll see what happens. I'm starting to get nervous because I can feel the intensity. <laughs> Nick, from day one, again, from the get go, you have done everything uh, full bore. Where did that come from? I mean, it just did you just wake up one day out of out of mama's womb and say, let's go, let me go get him. I mean, in everything that you do, it's music, it's being a family man, the father of three young boys, a beautiful wife, Amanda, who's been accused of looking like Beyonce, but we understand <laughs> she's even more gorgeous. Uh, where does that come from? You know, I think you know, I'm guilty of, of trying to do the things that I love to do, you know, and I've been blessed and able to do them. You know, um, I love to play football. And if you love to play football, why would you go half speed? You know, I go full bore. I love to do music. And so I do that. And I love to be talking to you right mm -hmm. now. And so I'm trying to do this. Full and he's bore. great at this, too. He'll do that <laughs> one day if he chooses. I would love to. But um, I think I, I carry the same passion for life as I do for football. And I think you only have you know, if you follow me on Twitter, you know, you've known that I've always said you only have one life to live. Why not live it? And that's what it's about. Every, every step you take and everything you do, live it. What do you do when you get a little bit down? I mean, it's a human nature thing to say, I, you know, this, this is the time. I want to be there with my guys in Atlanta. You don't take long to bounce back up. But, but what do you do when you have to deal with those tough moments? Who do you lean on, if I may? Well, you know, number one, you, you, 
I lean, you know, my faith in God. You know, you think about the word and you read, you know, I, and I'm not going to say I'm the most well-versed person, but, you know, I do, you know, I do know my words, you know, and I do know um, where my faith lies. And, and anytime, you know, I have my family there. My mother lives in Green Bay. My, you know, my wife is there whenever, you know, there's any type of issues or, because face it, everyone has insecurities about anything, you know, and, and, and when you see other people doing your job and doing it well, you know, like, oh, man. I need to hurry up and get back out there, but it's all in timing, you know. I know I'm, I have faith in myself and I have uh, confidence in myself that, you know, I can go out there and do it again and, and, and do it well. And then when I'm seeing them go to the playoffs, you know, I'm jealous. I'm this like, is oh, your time, isn't yeah, it? This you know, is what you dream for. This, this is what you oh work so hard for, blood, sweat, and tears. You know, you get so, you know, when I watch those playoff games, number one, I am so jealous but at the same time, happy and excited. Like I'm sitting at the edge um, of my, my seat. I'm ready to play. Uh, but at the same time, you just got to be happy. It's your team. You know, I was there. We forged together. We forged this whole team together. You know, I, you know, I, I raised Desmond Bishop. I raised A.J. Right. Hawk. I raised all these young guys. Off so, the Nick Barnett linebacking yeah. tree. I think you I can true. say that. You know, uh, you know, and they will tell you the same thing. We've all raised each other, you know, as a team and as a defense. And so it's, I'm proud to watch these guys out there play well and, and play the way that they're playing, playing Packer football. What is it going to take for your guys to beat the Atlanta Falcons and get to the NFC Championship game, either in Chicago, which would be amazing, or Seattle? Well, it's going to take them coming together and playing Packer football, you know, doing what they're supposed to do, what they've done all year, you know, um, playing number one, play defense. You know, we've got to play defense. We've got to control that run. We've got to stop that run. And, and I think everything else will take care of itself. You know, we stop that run, give Aaron Rodgers the ball, let him throw to his guys, you know, uh, we get that young boy out there running, yeah. you know, get Starks out there going, yeah. I, think, I think we'll be there. And, and they got to just continue that momentum and that, you know, that hunger all the way through the playoffs. And I think, you know, we'll be in Dallas, like I said, XLV or die. Absolutely. Talk more yeah. about the T-shirt again, everybody, and the Bears for the causes, Nick Collins as well as Nick Barnett and Ryan Grant on Fox6Now.com. So let's start with a T-shirt. That was a neat idea. Well, you know, it all started, you know, Dan, when we did an interview down in uh, – uh, LA at the uh, NFL Network and uh, you know Warren Sapp asked me Super Bowl or bust and I'm like hey Super Bowl or die yeah. you know because I felt we have all the talent in the world you know we got great character we got great coaches um you know we got everything we need great fans great stadium so all we have to do is play you know Packer football so and I think it kind of caught fire all the fans were like you should make a shirt and yeah. I was like all right I'm gonna do it and, uh, and it is sharp looking too well, it's a nice yeah. shirt you know yeah. I mean I, when you wear it it looks extra, yeah, that's extra, so great. extra yeah. handsome yeah, oh, I like this is one of the reasons I like <laughs> check in the mail um, <laughs> and that of course you can go to fox6now.com we're gonna raffle off more for you on our website and before we wrap up Nick if you would talk specifically about the Bears yours involving hunger and again that great heart of yours to reach out to those less fortunate yeah, um, you know, it's kind of a thing we all came up, you know, me, Nick Collins, Ryan Grant, um, and really, you know, Stacy. Uh, let's start that over. Okay. I want to get it going. We just pause there. That's good. Here, I'll lead right. you in. We're right. right from there. We'll just, yeah, I was trying, to, I was trying to figure out how I was going to lead it in there. Yeah, right. I'll, I'll, I'll lead you in. Is that all right? Okay. Yeah, there you go. That's what I was thinking okay. about right there. Good. Here we go. Three, two, one. We can just pick this right up, if that's okay with an edit. And then, of course, these great-looking Bears, Nick Collins, Nick Barnett, Ryan Grant, uh, four great causes. In particular, you have a heart for hunger, Nick. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, you know, this is a thing we all came up, Ryan, Nick Collins, and myself, and, and Elite Sports. Uh, we're trying to attack, you know, these certain needs, you know, through creative ways to, to raise revenue and help for these things. And, and mine's right now, we're doing uh, mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're doing yeah. for hunger, uh, which we're going to locally with Will Allen and, and the growing power and, and it's all about helping you know feed hunger but in a healthy way you know he's built these greenhouses and, and built it organically you know I think it's a big thing going around an epidemic in America is what we're feeding our kids in school and what we're feeding you know people in the inner city and I think it's it's huge what he's doing and especially it's local right here in Milwaukee so it's going to be huge hopefully we can raise a lot of money to help him out. A final question. I, unfortunately, I think I'm old enough to be this guy's father if I had to start a little younger. But the point I'm trying to make is I think any dad would be thankful to have you as a son. You use your celebrity to make a positive difference in life. How satisfying is that for you, Nick Barnett? You know, I, I just enjoy being able to help people. You know, all my life I, I've always helped. I'm not saying I'm the philanthropist of the year or anything, but, you know, I feel when you're in a position to be able to help people, 
you know, I think it's a responsibility that we have to our society to be, you know, to do it. Um, and I would love to do more, you know, there's always time constraints, but um, I, I, get, I get a good feeling just as I do, like you said, I do everything full bore. You know, if I can help people, I do that at full bore. So I'm ex I get excited about it and, and I feel good and it's a little piece that, you know, you get that satisfy satisfying, you know, to me. So. I'm excited about it. Nick, thank you for the time. God's blessings to you and the Barnett family, your career, your causes, and go pack, Super Bowl or die? Yes, xlvordie.com. There Holla. you go. There you go. <laughs> Fox6now.com as well. Back to you, friends. Yeah.